Hi, I'm here from Niche Advice. I've just finished a fantastic video on remortgaging. If you're looking to remortgage in the next couple of months, this video gives you all the tips that you need to know to make an informed decision uh, about what to do. Thank you so much. In this session, we're going to talk about everything to do with remortgaging, uh, look at your options, whether you're better off staying with your existing lender and taking a product transfer or actually um, remortgage to a different lender. And there are different reasons why uh, people will look at these different options. I've actually done a video and I'm going to put the video up here um, around product transfers and why product transfers could be quite good versus remortgages. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to specifically talk about remortgaging and some of the reasons why people look to remortgage and how they should go about doing so. So um, you've been in a mortgage, so let's say two years, three years, five years, and now uh, it's a few months till you come up for your uh, mortgage term is ending. Um, so whether that's a fixed rate term or whether the actual mortgage is coming up to an end, um, you should really start um, looking at your various options. The first thing you should do really is contact a professional mortgage broker. A mortgage broker will have access to the whole of the market rather than just to stay with your existing lender. And that's the biggest thing, the biggest mistake a lot of people do. Um, they may get a letter from the lender or they may approach, approach the lender themselves and they almost just go ahead with that option. Um, now, typically, if you go for a product transfer, things are a little bit easier. There's no affordability checks generally from, from the lender side of things and no credit searches. So that's their selling point. Uh, you know, there's no legals, there's no valuation. And I'm like I said, I have put a video up in terms of product transfers. So just um, type in product transfers and we should be at the top of YouTube there. Um, but why wouldn't you uh, just go down a product transfer if it's so great? Well, there's different reasons why people would want to remortgage. First of all, uh, going with the existing lender's product uh, as a product transfer may not necessarily be the best rate. Um, generally, what you'll find is, um, yes, it is easier to do it. And we do product transfers and we can do it free of charge for our clients. Um, however, what you will find is typically the rates are not as competitive. So you're losing out there um, just because you're not willing to do that little bit of work extra. So typically, because you'll have a lot more choice through the, uh, through the market, um, you get better rates generally from remortgaging. Um, also, there might be other reasons why you want to remortgage. It could be that you want to switch uh, uh, the actual specific product in terms of product, but as well as maybe move around with the term of the mortgage. Maybe make it a, you know, instead of a 25 year term, you want to now reduce it to a 20 year term. Uh, and also more importantly, and this is the one that people often used to, um, people often go down the route of is they're, they're looking to borrow some more money. So if you're looking to borrow additional money, generally, if you do a product transfer with the existing lender, what you have to do is you almost have to do a product transfer and then do another loan on top, which is called the further advance. Now, that could have its own problems, okay? It sounds good, sounds easy, but let's just say if, if the two products are not finishing at the same term uh, dates, and so you'll have one product at one rate, uh, another product may be on a different rate uh, as a further advance. Um, so further advances can get a little bit messy, but it is an option that we should explore and we do explore for our clients. We'll say, well, okay, is it, is it, does it make sense for us to stay with this lender, um, take the product transfer and then do a further advance? Or is it better just to do a remortgage and make it a clean sort of swap um, to a new lender? Now, there's also various reasons around capital raising, so remortgaging for raising capitals. Now, it could be for home improvements, maybe building an extension. Um, it could be that you're looking to give the money for um, for your children to buy buy to their products or, or, or res residential properties. Sorry, um, it could be to you know fund weddings and all sorts of things. Uh, it could be, and this is the one that we get quite a lot of, and this is the most dangerous one, so real care needs to be given, uh, is debt consolidation, okay? So we often get a lot of clients come to us and say, look, you know, we're looking to remortgage, and by the way, I've got some car finance or I've got some credit cards that I would like to uh, amalgamate as part of that mortgage. Now, it's really, really important you seek advice on this because just... Just because you've got 10,000 pounds on your credit card, uh, and, and let's say it's on a 15% rate, yes, short term, it may make sense for you to bring that onto a, a mortgage where you're paying one and a half percent interest rate. However, 
Um, one, if you stop paying your credit card, nobody's going to come and repossess your house. If you put the debt onto your home, potentially you could have that problem. Okay. Um, secondly, what you're doing is you're uh, bringing in short term debt, unsecured debt, short term. So let's just say a credit card term for four or five years. And you're pushing that along the way with a long term debt vehicle like as a like a mortgage. So you're taking that credit card debt that could have been paid within three, four years to now kicking it down the road for 25 years. So although initially the rate is cheaper, uh, and your repayments are lower, but if you're pushing that debt on for 25 years, over 25 years or 20 years, that could cost you actually more. So really, really, care, you've got to be careful when you're looking to debt consolidate things. And, and I urge you to speak to a professional mortgage broker and, and look at other avenues as well. So you can, you can obviously do a product transfer, you can remortgage for various reasons. There is another way, and that's called the secure loan. Now, secure loans historically have had really bad names because the fees used to be very high and a lot of the brokers that were dealing within this sector were charging quite big um, broker fees. So it wasn't making it viable unless you were in you know, real problems with regards to your credit. Generally, you wouldn't go down that route. Now, um, there's a lot better options out there for secure loans. Um, and there are um, lenders with great rates. And, 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 you know, there are lots of reasons why you would want to take a secure loan rather than a, a, a remortgage product. Let's take, a, for example, you might be on a very good tracker rate, which is, I don't know, Bank of England plus one. Well, in that case, it doesn't make sense for you to remortgage from that product. You might want to keep the big balance of the mortgage on that and then maybe just do a top up loan um, wire further advance or a, um, or a secured loan um, to try to keep that rate. So there are different strategies when you're looking to remortgage and more importantly, there are different lending criteria to do with remortgages. Affordability rules. How do they deal with your income? How do they t deal with your additional income, bonuses, commissions? And also, um, what's the process uh, in regards to valuations and, 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 and incentives? So don't just look at the rate when you're looking at the product. And the brokers will actually look at the rate. They'll look at the product. They'll look at the, they'll have a conversation about, you know, whether it should go for a two-year fix, five-year fix, early repayment charges. Um, incentives are very important. Often with remortgages, they often come with free valuations, free legals and sometimes cashbacks. And that could make a difference. You know, a, a, a legal charge could be a couple of hundred pounds, so can a valuation. So if they're moved away, then you might get an incentive like a 500 pound cashback as well. So don't just go with the lender's option. Uh, that is an option for you to look at. And like I said, at Niche Advice, will give you both options. We'll say, right, this is what, would the, what the costs are if you're gonna go for a product transfer with your existing lender. And by the way, we will not charge you to do that for you. And this is what the costings are for a remortgage. We will search the whole of the market. We'll look at the criteria. We'll look at the viability of that mortgage uh, to your circumstances, and we'll represent you know we'll present you with the both options so you can make an informed decision rather than going down the quick route. Because mortgages are for long term, they need to be flexible and really they need to be suited to your circumstances. No point getting a five year fix if you're planning to move jobs and go somewhere else, for example. Um, um, no point getting a five year, uh, two year fix if you think you know you may, you may have some children uh, in the next few years, your circumstances might change, one of you might go off uh, uh, work for a little while, you may want to want to get a more secure mortgage and that, that, that sort of says okay well maybe I should go for a fixed five years because no matter what happens at least I know what I'm going to go for so you know those things you need to you need to think about it there are lots of things that you may not know about that a broker can bring to your attention so um, if any if only thing you can take out of this is speak to an independent mortgage broker who is whole of the market um, if not us speak to someone that that is that has got those credentials that is regulated by the financial conduct authority um, and obviously uh, abides by all the data protection rules as well um, hope you found this useful please do give us a a, a call or, or complete the inquiry form i will leave our contact details below and do like and subscribe to our channel if you did find this uh, video useful we've got lots of videos on different types of mortgages and yeah um, any feedback you can give just leave a comment and i do like to read the comments and and I do always try to reply to them. Thank you so much.
The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker before applying. Niche Advice Limited is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.